Good morning, Lee. What a week it has been. Investigators saying today they should have results by the end of the day, hopefully answering all of the questions about how what seemed to be a routine call quickly turned into one of the worst explosions our state has ever seen. It was a morning that started like any other until a blast rocked Franklin County. It was had a, a large explosion in a building. And changed the small town of Farmington forever. A nuclear explosion, that's the only way to describe it. Here's what we know so far. It all happened at the newly renovated and expanded office facility for Leap Incorporated, a nonprofit that works with adults with intellectual disabilities. Fire crews were first called to the scene around 8 o'clock Monday morning for a report of a gas leak. When they got there, the building exploded, killing Captain Michael Bell and injuring seven others. You know, expect to lose uh, somebody that we've worked with for years and a loved one. Today, two firefighters are back home. Now four other people remain in the hospital. Chief Terry Bell and Captain Scott Baxter are in critical condition, but improving. Firefighter Theodore Baxter has been upgraded from critical to serious condition. And Larry Lord, the maintenance man being hailed a hero for evacuating the building, is still in critical condition at a Boston hospital. He smelled the gas, he immediately went up and just herded everybody out. The blast displaced at least 30 people from their homes. Some were completely destroyed. There's a lot of people out there who just lost everything. But property owners have vowed to rebuild. Investigators have spent the week trying to figure out how this happened and why. New Center, Maine found the propane tank at the scene is owned by CN Brown Company. The main base gas supplier with customers across New England refused to comment, but officials say propane has been the focus of their investigation. That's the road we're traveling right now. Uh, it's one of those things that even if it is not the responsible uh, problem, it's something that we have to eliminate. The real focus, though, has been in the strength of community. People from all over the state, country, and world have shown support, honoring a man who sacrificed all to save others. This isn't just Farmington Fire Department. This is Farmington, Maine, and, and beyond Franklin County. Captain Michael Bell was 68 years old. Meanwhile, Governor Mills has authorized all flags here in her hometown of Farmington and at fire departments across the state to remain at half staff, saying in part, please join me in thanking and keeping our first responders in your thoughts and prayers. Lee.